don't know why I always do these when I need a haircut, but hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. Uh, like the title says, I just want to give you guys a quick update on the veteran Larry that I spoke about in a post earlier this week. If for some reason you did not catch that post, please feel free to go back, take a look. It's on my timeline. Uh, I apologize for kind of the shaky hand syndrome that's going on here. Jeff is on vacation, so that kind of, I lose my cameraman in that case. But anyway, so I was able to collect documents from Larry yesterday. He is currently living in a place that uh, provides him some additional care, but it w which I question because the last thing I want to do is put somebody in a position where they're going to be worse off than the situation that they're currently in. Uh, he indicated that, hey, he'd be fine. He's able to purchase his own groceries and do things like that himself. And so I feel comfortable with continuing to move forward to put this man into a home. Not to mention, who am I to tell a 77-year-old veteran whether or not they can buy a home or not? So what I am doing is I am dispatching one of my companies that I work closely with, 700 Credit Repair. They are going to help me get him in a situation to where we are showing credit scores to help put him in a better loan. Uh, we are also going to... When the moving date comes, so here's where I need your help. A lot of you reached out and said, hey, what can I do to help you out? What I need you to do is when moving day comes, I need to scramble together a team to help this man move. He is older. He's in a situation where moving obviously isn't going to be something he can do on his own. And, you know, him paying somebody to do that, I think there should be no reason why a person like this pays somebody else to help them move. So if I can get together and just put it in the back of your head, probably 30 to 45 days out, we're going to scramble a team together to help this guy move. I will rent the truck. All I'll need is hands. So I'll keep you updated as we go. Uh, things are looking great for Larry. For those of you that, you know, you're, you're kind of questioning what's going on. Um, things are looking great. I have Megan, my processor. She's working on gathering the certificate of eligibility now. I reviewed the DD-214 yesterday. He's got plenty of service time. Uh, so we should be in good shape there. So I hope everyone that tunes in has a great weekend. I appreciate you guys following this story. I look forward to taking this man to closing and kind of getting everything said and done. So thanks again for your support. We'll talk to you soon.